climate change has emerged as the dominant global environmental issue, one that's going to have a major impact on our planet, the way we live and the way our children will live. People the world over know we'll be measured by how well we respond to this challenge on behalf of those who come tomorrow. The good news is that something as simple as using more wood is a natural and easy way to make a difference. Climate change is largely due to increasing levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, especially the carbon dioxide released when fossil fuels are burned. The best ways to address climate change are to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and store more carbon. A healthy, sustainable forest can do both. On average, a tree absorbs one ton of carbon dioxide and releases three quarters of a ton of oxygen for every 32 cubic feet of growth. As the tree matures, growth slows and less carbon is absorbed. In an unmanaged forest, the carbon remains stored in the roots, stems and branches until the tree decomposes or burns. At that time, much of the carbon is released, mainly as carbon dioxide. In a sustainably managed forest, this cycle of carbon absorption and storage represents a readily available solution to climate change. That's because wood products continue to store the carbon absorbed by the trees, and the new forest once again begins absorbing carbon dioxide. Wood offers a low carbon alternative to other building materials. In North America, a typical wood frame home stores 30 tons of carbon. This represents the amount of carbon dioxide emitted by running the family car for five years. Building construction and renovation have a significant impact on the environment, but wood products come with a unique advantage. A growing tree removes more carbon from the atmosphere than the amount emitted during the entire process of making a wood product and shipping it to the construction site. As a result, wood products are not just carbon neutral, they're carbon negative, and that represents a carbon credit, which helps offset the carbon debt imposed by other building materials. The Athena Sustainable Materials Institute has concluded that a home made with as much wood as possible can be carbon neutral if the wood is eventually reclaimed for reuse or to generate clean bioenergy. However, to achieve these benefits, wood must come from healthy, well-managed forests. Deforestation, primarily in developing countries, accounts for 18% of carbon emissions globally, but it's not an issue in North America. The United States and Canada are global leaders in sustainable forest management. Both have roughly the same amount of forested land now as they did 100 years ago, which means that carbon-positive management is happening today. At the same time, companies have also embraced independent scrutiny as a way to demonstrate superior performance, which is why Canada and the U.S. also have more land certified through a third-party forest certification program than the rest of the world combined. There are other ways to be at the forefront when it comes to addressing climate change, and increasingly, governments around the world are implementing policies that encourage greater use of forest products. Whether through green building programs, incentives for clean bioenergy, or wood-first policies for public buildings, the United States, Canada, Europe, New Zealand and others are all in one form or another integrating wood use into their climate change strategies. There are no easy solutions to today's complex environmental issues. We know we have to do everything we can. We also know that using wood from well-managed forests can achieve significant results. It encourages responsible forest management, so forests remain healthy and productive and continue to absorb and store carbon. It provides low-carbon building materials, and it delivers a renewable source of carbon-neutral energy. As we look for ways to reduce our pressure on the world's environment, using more wood from sustainably managed forests 
represents an easy, effective answer. Tackle climate change. Use wood.